Hey there, it's Kyle from Colossus Fitness. I'm gonna be walking you through the real reasons you can't lose weight. Let's jump right into it. So here you're gonna see a list of a bunch of different variables that people think are getting in the way on their fitness journey, starting with carbs, sugar, gluten, insulin, genetics, slow metabolism, and so much more. The list could honestly go long. I would need a ton of whiteboards to cover all these other things, when in reality, these are not the factors that are actually holding you back. It's your overall eating patterns, and you're just not paying attention to your overall calorie intake. Now, this is gonna be a hard reality for a lot of people to accept because they've spent a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of energy focused on trying to cut this stuff out, trying to incorporate different types of eating, but they don't realize that it's actually not the thing that's holding them back. And so you'll obviously notice a lot of time being wasted in all these different categories, but the biggest issue with this is your overall confidence in the ability to succeed just completely goes down every single time you try a new diet every single time you try a new type of eating you start to wonder do i actually have what it takes am i capable of this is this really going to work and unfortunately it just really takes a toll on your overall ability to succeed because you've tried so many things and you're not trying the thing that's actually going to make a big difference on your journey. And so with that, I wanted to not only give you this as an opportunity to pay attention to the things that aren't actually holding you back, but to start to think about the things that can make a big difference on your fitness journey. So one of the greatest things you can do is start by tracking your calories and focus on how many calories you're taking in every single day. So too many times people will focus on these things, things that aren't in control or actually making a big difference, but they miss the biggest part, which is your overall calorie intake. Next up is gonna be your protein intake. So I always recommend aiming for at least one gram per pound of protein, and that's gonna be the best way to help you satiate yourself, help you lose fat, help you build muscle, and just have the right overall eating patterns. And the more protein that you consume, the better your eating patterns will be able to be because you're focusing on having 30 to 40 grams of protein each meal, you're satiated, and you're making all the right steps to just overall fuel yourself accordingly and properly. Another really big tip is just having set eating times. So it's very hard to stay on track when you're just randomly grabbing a bunch of stuff. You say, hey, I'm gonna cut out one of these things here, but you're just being super random with your overall intake. And it's hard for some people to hear because these are the things that you're always told is actually holding you back. But in reality, it's just a quick money grab or it's a quick thing that is actually not gonna help you out. Another gigantic tip for you that will make such a big difference is just focusing on snacking less and having more healthy whole meals. A lot of people don't realize how big of a difference this will actually make, but in terms of just starting to focus on eating better and having better eating patterns, this makes such a big difference because when you're snacking, you're constantly grabbing a bunch of stuff, and especially if you're not tracking your calories, oftentimes it's just gonna be mindless eating, it's gonna be stuff that's not gonna fit within your calorie intake, it's not really gonna be as beneficial. When you actually focus on having healthy whole meals, your patterns become better, you're just more in line with what your body's actually wanting and one of my recommendations if you are gonna have snacks I definitely recommend having some sort of veggies I also think that protein snacks are absolutely incredible because it's a great way to boost your protein and then fruits can also be a great substitute if it fits within your calorie intake and that's all I have for now stop blaming all these other external factors your genetics your slow metabolism sugar and whatnot pay attention to your actual eating patterns be in line with what your body wants hit your overall calorie intake which is gonna make the biggest difference with your protein and just just being intentional with every single thing you eat. I promise you, you can do some incredible things on your fitness journey. You can lose those last 10 to 20 to 30 pounds. And if you are struggling on your fitness journey, you need some more assistance, please fill out the first link down below. I promise you I'll be able to help you out. I guarantee my results. That's how confident I am in being able to help you. And I have helped over 4,000 people in the last 10 years with myself and my team. And I can't wait for you to be next. So hit that like button down below and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.